Good morning, all my little celestial beings. It's your girl LV. And today I'm going to do a quick makeup look. Um, one, the piece that I'll be attaching to this. In my opinion, doesn't need like crazy makeup. So, um, maybe I'll do something crazier, but I'm also on my way to work. So I'm trying to like do a billion different things and like crunch this in before I go to work and then, yeah. So I really hope I'm not late. Um, I don't want to be late because I feel bad every time that I am. It's like, fuck, get it together, women. Oh shit. Um. Remember I had told you I was like researching that thing and it was like, oh, if you curse within like the first half of it, none for you. Yeah, it's, I end up accidentally cursing in the beginning of all of this. None for me. Um, but yeah, so the piece I'm going to be reading to you guys, gals, my celestial little beans, is um. <laughs> it is the first of July and cancer season is in full swing and I am emotional. Uh, <laughs> it's titled Tornadoes. And backstory, backstory, backstory alert. Um, so late. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ever like y'all ever what's the word I'm looking for without saying what I'm trying to say um <laughs> um I guess I'm going to say it. Y'all ever, <laughs> y'all ever catch feelings for a person and like, you really don't want to because like, you know, you're just playing yourself. Um, well, yeah. So, Tornadoes is about that. It's about falling for... That looks really light. Or like, I don't know. Whatever. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, falling for the potential of an individual versus the reality of what's standing in front of you, right? Um, a lot of situations of unrequited love or sentiment or lust or whatever the hell you guys want to call it happens because you know, not necessarily that we're falling for the wrong person. I mean, right person, wrong timing type of shit. But it also could be just, you know, you're, you're more so falling for what you see or what you want to see than what's actually being presented to you. Um, and that's what Tornadoes is about. It's about, yeah falling for that unrequited love that like person that like just fits all your little fucking boxes and you're like oh my god what is wrong with me this is not me why am i losing it essentially over this person right and you're just like oh. be still my beating heart like don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You know? And then you do it, and you're like, fuck, why did I do that? Um, because that shit is not fun. Um, see, this is, okay. So am I supposed to wet this brush before I start putting on this foundation? Because, I don't know. But, yeah, so that's that's pretty much what Tornadoes is about, which is why I'm like, you know, I don't 
don't feel like it requires all this crazy as like makeup um sort of I, I don't know but yeah yeah ever fall for somebody and just get your heart kicked in the ass that's and I, I don't know I always find the concept of falling for someone super interesting because like it's not like I did the shit on purpose I tried not to um not like a mad or anything I'm not baking my face today I do not have time to bake my face don't judge me I'm literally just like doing this super as quickly as I possibly can because I'm not trying to be late to work. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> the 1st of July, why do you lie to me? Um, you know, the messed up thing is I was up at six in the morning. This could have been done, but no, no, I had to go and do a bunch of other shit first. <laughs> And by a bunch of other shit, I mean, like, go on the internet and scroll and not do this. Um, I guess I partially was also stalling just because. So, I, like, I don't know, I was writing a few things last night. And, me, and I was, like, reading over tornadoes and a couple pieces before this one and you know a girl was like <laughs> hella emotional and fucking I don't know where my head was but that's besides the point um yeah I just I got really really in my feelings and I was like oh my god why are you such a moron Blah, 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 blah. You know, really, really not putting myself in the vibe I need to be for my birthday month. But I don't know why. The end of June is always very, like, weird for me. Like, I had, like, Snapchat memories. Snapchat memories over, like, fuck with Charlie, fuck with me all the time. And I'm like, hey, remember this shit from, like, three years ago you didn't delete? Yeah, bitch. Um... <laughs> It happened to me with um, a memory on there of something that like I took a picture of I saved it I didn't like post it I just ended up saving it and I was like damn who hurt me <laughs> um, I mean the answer was me but damn um, and I was like what the fuck right I'm using my fingers in case you guys are wondering what the fuck I'm oh you can totally see it <laughs> <laughs> we'll get used to that at some point, but not for now. Um, but yeah, it was just very like. <sighs> type of shit. And I was like, you know, whatever. I'm fine. Like, I'm come so much farther than I was at that point. Whatever, whatever. Trying to like high myself up before I went to sleep and you know I I don't know I had to like really me and these vivid as dreams yo like that shit makes me mad <laughs> um no but yeah it was very It was very interesting because I I never really dreamt about this person like I have but not like that and it tweaked me out I was just like okay it's weird um and I was like yeah yeah Fine, I'll read the fucking thing in the morning. <laughs> um, because like last night I posted casually foible. And it was 
Like, I love that one because I'm just like, it's just me being a hype like I usually am. Um, but yeah, it got me to thinking about like, you know, where I've been in life, how far I've come. Also, it's my birthday in eight days. Mm, I'm a July baby. Fucking cancer. That's why I'm so fucking emotional and moody and indecisive as shit. <laughs> um, I'm batshit crazy. Um, and yeah. I was being very emotional, very batshit crazy, very all over the place. Um, just overthinking more than anything. Not even regular thinking, just over, straight up overthinking. Um, and I was like, damn, this shit really had me in my feelings. Like, for real. Like, I was out here just like... <laughs> but you could be the love of my life. Uh, but I was a fucking bitch ass, drunken fucking mess of a girl at the time. And I was like, well, nobody wants to be with that because that is not fucking cute. And very toxic and very like unacceptable. <sighs> right? It's the truth, it is. It's not, it's not good by any means and i was like okay well whatever um had to had to get over that which like i hate saying that i got over something because you know if you have to say you're over something typically it means you're not over it like yep totally over it not over it cries in the corner at three in the morning with a fucking pint of strawberry gelato. <laughs> That's just real personal experience there. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It, um, yeah, I don't know. You know, I was just like in a whole as mood. And I was like, okay, well you know it is what it is it's whole as new year i am eight days from my birthday like whole new bitch <laughs> um but yeah i don't know it's like would i do it again absolutely do i regret it no do they probably but <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your girl is all a mess. But yeah, I, I was very head over heels over the potential of this person. Because, like, when I tell y'all this, this person checked all my boxes of, like, what I look for in someone. And then, like, the other thing was they reminded me of very much so the good parts or what I view to be the good parts of myself. Like, again, different point in time. I wasn't very fully accepting of, like, who I was as a person. And, like, you know, accepting my flaws and actively trying to, like, do better. I was kind of just going with whatever the fuck life was throwing in front of me. And, you know, I was like, wow, they... They're just, like, hidden on everything. And I'm just, like, I fucking, I fuck with this heavy. And, yeah, very, very, very more so enveloped within myself than I was with them. Um, so, like, I wasn't really paying attention, right? And... It, it was like, I became the crazy bitch, like, <laughs> why won't you date me type of shit, and, uh, but like, they clearly told me why they won't date me type of shit, and like, 
it was for personal reasons or whatever they said um yeah and i was like but me no i'm like fucking loca for no reason um yeah um para toda mi gente que habla español básicamente like esta wey la wey siendo yo se enamoró me puse de pisitos para arriba y pues me hace punto está bien pendeja los los pero está bien pendeja la wey um but yeah so tornadoes is a take on something something that was said at a point and of course like me being the like i'm a whimsical fairy and i will turn everything into a fairy tale bullshit thing that i do for my writing i was like yeah this is it this is what we're doing with this and see <laughs> um and it was i don't know I really like it. I like how it came out. Um, and like I said, like I, everything I write is kind of like a mini story that I'm telling. It's like the point that I was at a various points in my life. Um, so you'll see like a lot of <sighs> recurring like themes and shit. Um, As, cause like, I don't know, my, my life is a recurring fucking theme, but <laughs> mm, I just remember this one post that I saw where it was like, oh, you know, if something keeps repeating itself in your life is because you haven't learned the lesson yet. And I was like, you know, this was a brand new fucking lesson cause I never learned this one. Um, and yeah, that's that's what it's about falling falling for someone when you don't want to fall for someone when you know damn well this shit is going to kick your heart in the ass and you still fucking do it you do it because you don't fucking care because you're just like yes hopeless romantic hello um but yeah i don't know it was, yeah. <laughs> me, <laughs> me, 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 Yeah. I was just very in my feelings and I got real emotional and. <clears throat> so, all my crazy shit being said, how do y'all get over a heartbreak? <laughs> I mean, I haven't been heartbroken in a minute. This was like a while ago. But how do y'all get over a heartbreak? How do you get over that? Is it just time? Do you have something that you do to like keep yourself busy? Like, you know, let me know. Comment. Comment and like and share. Also, if you guys hear me saying Paz Besos y la Luna, I know I said it before, but basically it's like, I'm sending you peace. I'm sending you lots of loving and kisses and shit. And reminding you to always, always look up at the moon. And I'm not just saying that because I am a moon baby. But I'm also saying it because the moon is fucking gorgeous. And at least for me, like I said, I don't fucking sleep as I should. <sighs> I'm always... Searching for the moon. She knows all my deepest, darkest secrets. She knows all the tea. She's seen me cry. So fucking much. Or shit I shouldn't be crying about. Um, but I do want to leave you guys with some words of encouragement. No matter what happens, you are you're strong. You're beautiful. You are powerful. You are intelligent. We all make mistakes. We're all entitled to be forgiven. We're all entitled to forgive ourselves, especially, and we are all entitled to love and feel loved. 
you know, just because you didn't receive it from the person you thought you should or someone that you were, like, putting all this time and effort into does not mean that it's the end of the world nor that, you know, you're never gonna find love because it's not true, you will. Toda su tiempo y a su tiempo todo. My mom always has said that to me, you know, everything at its time and at its time, everything, so keep that in mind. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week, an amazing summer. I don't start summer till the beginning of July because that's when summer starts for me, in my humble opinion. Although now I know that on the calendar it is with like June 22nd or 21st, whenever the solstice falls on. But yeah, I hope that I'm doing that tilting thing again. And these bitches are gonna be winged the fuck out. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do like a baby wing. And then this bitch ends up being bum. Bueno, ya que. I'm just meant to have crazy wings. You know, because I never got to be a Victoria's Secret angel. But, you know, that's. Es es un cuento patro rato. Mainly because, like I said, I'm 5'2. Fuck, I thought I was going to be an angel for. 5'2 and fucking thick. <laughs> like, I wasn't going to be no fucking Victoria's Secret angel, but a bitch really thought. Really, really thought. Um, but yeah, when I read Tornadoes, I hope you guys like it and. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Oh, I'm one of those bitches now. <laughs> um, ignore the fact that there's so much makeup on the back of this mirror. Like, oh, oh, yo me bullshit. Neta. But, yeah. You know, tell, tell, tell everyone that is over 18. Do not have no youngin listening to my shit because... YouTube was like, is your content children appropriate? And I was like, no. So, yeah. Ahorita los veo.